So pediatric OCD, that is an anxiety disorder and stands for obsessive compulsive disorder. Most children and adolescents are diagnosed with this disorder by the time of um, age 19. This is a disorder that has consists of the following symptoms of an individual feeling the urge to do certain behaviors in a repetitive fashion. And often these behaviors are done to um, what we call neutralize an anxiety thought. So a young person might have a thought that if I don't say this prayer at least 10 times before my mom leaves the house to go to work, something bad may happen to them. And that child can't get that thought out of their mind and that thought keeps replaying playing itself. And so that child engages in a ritual of doing these prayers multiple times in order to feel to neutralize that anxiety about their parent leaving the home. The hard part is, is that even after they do this ritual to get rid of the thought that's bothering them, often the anxiety does not go away and it just starts building up again. So this disorder is a combination of having what we call obsessions or those thoughts that make them anxious and feel uncomfortable that keeps bothering them. Um, and leading to behaviors uh, or compulsions where they're rechecking something or they're rechecking to make sure their hands are clean or rechecking that their mom didn't make it safe, um, safe to work. Um, and we consider this, these symptoms to be problematic if they're starting to cause an impairment with everyday life things. So young, some young people may not get out the door to go to school because they're washing their hands so much or they're in the shower taking so long rewashing different parts of their body because they just never feel quite right or quite clean enough. Um, and certainly if these thoughts and obsessions are taking over at least an hour a day, um, then someone should become concerned about thinking about their child might need an evaluation for this. Um, but it's one that really goes above and beyond what would be expected for that age and it starts taking up a lot of time and keeping them from doing their usual activities. A parent should consider um, potentially at least asking their pediatrician what they think to see if it's still within the range of typical anxiety for the child. And so the study that we're doing is looking at an antibiotic called minocycline. We have some early pilot data that suggests that minocycline as an augmentation treatment, meaning a treatment added on to an antidepressant that's known to help OCD, might actually provide additional benefit. So this is a study to examine that more closely. So this is a study where young people would again either be, uh, it's a we call a clinical trial, so they do have obsessive compulsive disorder and have at least have had some help from an antidepressant. They could be considered for this study. Um, and they would either get the actual medication minocycline or they would get a pill placebo, a pill that looks just like the minocycline, so it's, so it's a randomization, a flip of a coin, where they would either get the research medication or they would actually get a pill placebo as a comparison. And for those um, children and families that participate in this program, at the end of the study, there's three months uh, at no cost treatment at the end of the program. Contact Amy Rapp at 212-543-5592 and families are more than welcome to contact me directly at 212-543-4506.